Good morning. It's Nancy today. Well, I'm hanging upside down. Oh, look, there goes a squirrel. A red squirrel. Anyway, I'm hanging upside down on my inversion table. Perhaps it will help my back. My back seems to compress when I stand up and hurts. So I have to use a cane to help push myself up. I don't know if that's the way other people have happened, but that's what's happening to me. Anyway, I'm in a better happy mood today than I was last night. I took some uh, Tylenol or acetaminophen, and that makes you depressed. Did you know that that makes you depressed? That's very important to remember. So I use uh, Advil or ibuprofen. Ibuprofen being the active ingredient never acetaminophen because that will leave you depressed. If you don't have a problem with depression, that's all right. I have a problem with depression. So, as you can see, our house is changing quite a, a lot. Let's see. So, um, 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 um. I've been wandering around outside picking up bits of this and that that are all over the yard that are I'm taking down the greenhouse. I realized this is a big realization. Everybody else knew it, but I didn't know it. I'm a hoarder. Hello, my name is Nancy and I'm a hoarder. And I'm seeing how far my hoarding goes. Hoarding is using saving stuff in case you need it sometime. Well, now, I think that's just good planning. I think that just saves money. You don't have to find, buy it again. You've got it. But there's a lot of stuff that gets saved that really is never going to be used. But you don't know it's not going to be used. And in a year, if a year goes by and you haven't used it, it doesn't mean you're never going to need it. It's just that you haven't done that kind of stuff this year. I don't know. I don't really understand it. But I am a hoarder. I'm a gatherer, a hunter-gatherer, and I gather lots of stuff, and I use them. I have a lot of projects going on, and I do it all, but somehow, go away, black fly, just go, go, um, but everything I do is, William says large-scale Nancy, and he doesn't mean that I'm big. I am big, but he, he refers instead to Whatever I do, I do a lot of it. If I make pottery bowls, I make a hundred of them. If I make birdhouses, I make 50 or 35. If I put up birdhouses, I put up, I have 10 on my fence row. Close in the yard, I guess. And when I make the decks, I mean, even a deck, I could just have one little deck, but no, I have to have a deck all the way around my whole house. But I want it. I want it. I want it. Do I need it? No. Do I need anything? No. Hi, little. Is that a little? It was a little hummingbird. Huh. There's nothing red here for him to eat yet. I don't put, I don't do the um, hummingbird feeder stuff because I'm too scatterbrained. And I'll leave it there for a month and then it'll all be moldy and it'll kill them. So I don't do that. I just grow flowers, grow red flowers. So dealing with my addiction to having stuff, to gathering stuff, it goes to a lot of things. Like when I go to the store, I can never just buy one. Well, sometimes I can. But, uh-oh, I have a black fly biting my leg and I can't reach my leg because I'm upside down. It's over there. I guess I'll have to go. Oh wait, I figured it out. I got it. I got rid of it. Anyway, so my house can never be clean because I've got too much stuff. Willem said that it's great that we're building this new addition because then everything can have a place and everything can be in its place. It's going to be a lot of money to put in a lot of cupboards for everything that needs a place. Anyway, anywho, I want to do stained glass. And right now, the only place I could do it is to bring a table out and do it out here on the deck. Maybe 
that's the way I have to do everything. Just have one storage place and then bring it all outside one at a time when I need it. I like to do pottery. I brought, if I bring my pottery wheel out here, put it on a big sheet of plastic so I don't get mud everywhere. The leaves are coming out now, see? Want to see what I see? Do you know what I see? That is an elm tree. You see how some of the inner branches are dead? It's some of the everywhere there's a few dead ones. That's because it's got Dutch elm disease. These are all going to die. Except for the maples. The maples will not die of Dutch elm disease. I heard there's some other maple thing going on, but I'm not going to worry about that. I like trees. I like being under the trees. I'm having a problem trying to decide where to put a roof. But, I, you know, I'm thinking that maybe a screened-in porch on the front of the house is the answer. Instead of making a nice room out there, make a screened-in room. You know, it's really hard because everybody says, Okay, so what am I doing here? What, what do you want me to build here? And I say, Oh, I don't know. I like this. And the next day I think, Well, wait a minute. Maybe I don't really like that. Maybe I like this. So, maybe none of it's, none of it's important. None of it. That's a place. None of it. It's a province in northern Canada. I'll have none of it. Oh, really? It's a lot of snow up there. Very cold. So, today is Tuesday. Tuesday. And it is, uh, the week is, hmm, let's see, we've had the 14th, I think that was on a Saturday, the 15th must have been Sunday, so the 16th was Monday, so today must be 17th, the Ides of May. No, wait, that's the 15th of March, that's the Ides of March. Well, the eyes have it. See, I have eyes. Oh, an eye there, what I, see, I have my eye. Ooh. <laughs> Did that scare you? Don't be scared. It's going to be okay. Oh, my son Abe is up. I can tell he's smoking a cigarette because he's coughing. He coughs when he smokes, but he likes to smoke. Why would anybody like to do something that makes you cough? Maybe because his bladder holds. I don't know. Okay, well then, this is all I'm going to say right now. Just wait. Just you wait, Henry Higgins. Just you wait. So I decided to be happy today. So I put on a smile. Now I'm happy, 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 happy. Goodbye.